was traveling northward, though the tears were in my eyes. A lot of things did not escape my sight. And as the wind came blowing, hello and welcome to the, let me look the second the show of the Paul Gubbins show in the basement. Sunday, February 27th, and I no longer have a guest host to lead me through the show, but I will, we're gonna uh, try to get a hold of Steve's follow here, and uh, we'll be back. I could see more clearly there was smoke up in his eyes, they gleamed confused it looked like haze. I asked him to ride along, he thought it was my innocence. I asked him this request, but he accepted and came in. He was no regular man, I remember the way he spoke, the story that he told me like a friend. seem to have Steve's follows phone number anywhere so we'll go ahead and do this on the air I was looking for it during the song we'll call up his home phone and uh, see if we can't see if we can't get a hold of him Calling the, calling the number now. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Forty-three minutes. See what happens. Phone is ringing. Hello, Steve. This is Paul. I can't find your cell phone number. I was going to call you on your trip home to Cincinnati, but I'm just calling. It's 2.35. We're on the air. 
here at the leery the the place and I don't really know what to do for a show. Just calling to let you know. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, that was calling the old Steve's follow. Let's uh let's go ahead and uh take some sort of um break or we'll uh play a song and I'll try to try to figure out what it is that we're we're gonna be doing. Okay, this is a rock and roll patrol song. Down in the valley. passes on by Send me a letter Send it by mail Send it in care of Birmingham jail original rock and roll patrol and um, we're not having any luck calling out today on our show this is um, just if you're just tuning in here or um, you played this on your your computer and you accidentally slid the slider over and missed the first part of the show or perhaps um you, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the show, this is the the Paul Gubbins show from his basement, and uh, yesterday we had several guests, and today we have none, um, so it's really much less exciting. The show is posted to www.rockmessiah.com on an evenly, eveningly basis, or it will be, or twice, and uh, it's uh, yesterday's show was much more exciting. The show from the 26th is posted, and you can listen to it if you're just listening to today's show from the 27th, February 27th. It's a Sunday. There's really not much, uh, not much doings. Uh, we'll probably hear. Uh, we'll go ahead and cut to another song. Try to. Um, pick a long one and 
find somebody to call. There. I'll pick this song here. This is MTV Fried My Mind by the Rock and Roll Patrol. <laughs> TV Fried my mind I used to watch it All the time Now I just Sit there Watch the carpet Grow Waiting for My favorite Ships episode That was MTV Fried My Mind by the Rock and Roll Patrol. And with us on the phone here in just a second is uh, my sister, Sarah, the only person I've been able to get a hold of. Hello, Sarah, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. How are you doing? I'm, I'm okay. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, you live in Newburgh? Yes, yes, mm-hmm. I do. Um, and we share the same parents. <laughs> we sure do. And much of the same genetic material. Oh, yes, we do. Um... Except mine's a little different. Yes, it's true. Um, so, uh, how's how's your daughter? She's fine. Anything exciting? Do you have any factoids for us today? No. Um, <laughs> I was, somebody was supposed to make me, because yesterday when I tried to talk mm-hmm. on the show myself to people, yes. it was so embarrassing that... Um, is it easier today? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> but that somebody, it was suggested, I think, by everybody that I should be given a list of things to mm-hmm. ask people. Right. Like general things that you could ask anybody, but okay. nobody gave me that list. Okay. <laughs> oh, hold on. I had something here. I'll just... Papers over here and... Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, topics... Emerging realist painters. Do you know any realist painters? That no. You, okay. <laughs> People who have worked at Gerante's Pizza. Yes, I, I know people who have worked at Gerante's Pizza. 
No. I, I had a close call there myself, but never actually had to work there. Okay. That's, that's food for thought. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm really glad, you know. Okay. Um, that I got out of that one. Yeah. I called the, the Petersons yesterday. The Petersons? How are the Petersons? Doing? I got the wrong number. Oh. <laughs> and it was funny, you know, because the guy was like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Did you get the wrong number in Ireland? Scotland. Scotland, whatever. Yeah. You know. And I don't there. think uh, the, I think I upset the guy. I yeah. Think... He could have. I mean, what time of the day would it have been? No, it was only, it was just early evening. Yeah. I guess I could still call. Yeah. Probably like nine I mean... o'clock over there. Maybe I'll try to sync that up for the, the next bit. They're probably a lot more exciting than I am. I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> This is this is pretty exciting. Um, uh, yeah. I got these papers here. I'm rustling through. Yes. But how's the sound quality for you there? Is is my voice loud enough for you on yeah. your phone? Yeah. It's it's just regular talking on the phone. Sound is it? Because I'm in the studio. You yes, realize? I, I know. And I have there's the phone is wired a, up. Like it's, a, what? There's a bit of an airier quality. Yeah. Like that you might be talking to me out in an open field at an airport, but... <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> kind of, but not bad. Is it hard to understand at all? No, no, it's really clear. Yeah. But it just sounds like you might be in an open field. Is it boomier now than it was just a minute ago? No. Are you sure? Now is it... I feel, you know, like we've gone back in time, Paul. <laughs> is it... Is it sound different now? Different here? Or different here? Different here? Can you tell the difference between that and that? <laughs> no. Uh, just turning turning knobs. Uh, yeah, I'm I not... know. I know what you're doing. <laughs> you should listen to the show from yesterday. I've it's... been a part of these experiences. <laughs> the show from yesterday was really, it was an hour long, you know what I mean? So you could listen to it through dinner. Um, yes, we could. And it's, it's pretty funny. Um, yes, I imagine that it is. Yeah, um... Do you, do you get a lot of radio or a lot of listener response? I we haven't had any at this point. Okay. <laughs> I I do know though that with some certainty, well that 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 at least two different people have at least attempted to listen to it, the show. Oh. Just from the looking at the the website statistics, you know, somebody's <laughs> clicked on it. I don't know whether right. they listened to it or even if they had speakers hooked up to their computer. <laughs> Yeah. My biggest fear at this point is that I'm going to... Alienate your entire <laughs> audience. <laughs> no, no, it's much, it's much simpler than that. My biggest fear at this point is that I have like a... I don't have all the switches on, you know, and something's going to... I mean, like, like the... Like that, for example, like I, I have... Like, like your knobs maybe not turn the right direction and then... Yeah. All they'll hear is just me talking. <laughs> <laughs> but that might be funny all in itself. <laughs> I know. Um, okay, you don't have any factoids? Uh, I mean, not that I can come up with quickly. I, I'm not very smart anymore, Paul. Yeah. These babies are draining my brain. That's what I've heard. You know, the Cephalos were staying here with us. Yes. IEs. They'll be back in uh, in a week or so. Are they? Are they still there? No, they left this morning. And they'll be back in a week. Yeah, they had some family things next week that they had to come in for. But um, uh, we're gonna try to have the dills over. Maybe. Oh, what was that? Just sort of clunk. Um, maybe you would like to come over. I I I will if I'm invited. Well, I don't know if you're invited yet. <laughs> Find out, and I I would come over. I'm going to try to come over this week. Yeah. To see you guys, but um, I mean, if I'm invited next week, then I don't know. <laughs> that might be an awful lot of visiting. Yeah. Well, well, that music there means that. I'm just kidding. There's. <laughs> there was no music. There's no music. I don't hear any music. Okay. Um. Well. Uh. Have you talked to our mutual father lately? I spoke with him this morning. Yeah. Yeah. How, how's he doing? I I don't know. He was uh, gruff as usual. 
he called to see somebody came and looked at my my Saturn view. Yeah. Oh, that is for sale. sale. <laughs> yeah. What what year is that Saturn? <laughs> Two thousand and three. Two thousand and three Saturn view, and what's the the amazing deal? The 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 offer for one week only. It's how much? Forty four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you mention this radio show. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but uh, so our, our mutual father called me to make sure that I hadn't been abducted by this strange man hmm. that came and looked at my car. Why I was alone. Because my husband's hard at work. Okay. Making money for our baby that is not yet born. Okay. But is moving. Is? How old is this unborn child? Um, 15 weeks tomorrow. And you've been, you felt movement already? Yes. It seems awfully early. Well, um, they say with your first. You don't know what to look for. Right. You think it's baloney that you ate or something. Exactly. But um but I've been fairly sure that this movement's not just the baloney. Yeah. But the actual parasite that I've got growing <laughs> in my body. Hey, do you know Rodney's phone number? Um gosh no, I don't. Oh. Um I guess real I... Rodney Russell might be in the phone book. Oh yeah, that's true. Under <laughs> Triple R tunes. Or Triple R tunes. I need to get some commercials. Commercials? Yeah, for the this... For Triple R tunes? No, for this oh. show, I need to have commercials. I'm going to try to... I'm going to submit it to... Uh, Andy Fuller's got a radio station now. I'm going to see if he can, he'll air my pre-recorded shows. And a radio station on, on the real radio? Yes. Well, they're only like a 100-watt station. Oh. So it's like they're broadcasting... Like, they remove the glass from atop a light bulb, and then they're broadcasting through that. <laughs> really? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that might really be possible. I don't know. But, you know, like, most radio stations are, like, 100,000 watts, I think, yeah. or kilowatts. I don't know. Megahertz. <laughs> much, much more powerful. I thought I knew what I was talking about until I started... Talking. Talking. It happens. I, I, I was going to ask you a question. What? Oh, it's about music. I was listening to PSR. Should I not say that? What's <laughs> PSR? The Central High School radio station. Oh, yeah. You know, PSR. 90.7? Right. On your local... On our local dial. And they had this... Uh, I. A song about General Hospital. Like about the... The soap opera. That's weird. Like from the 80s. Like about, like all, like it was like talking about all the people, because I watched that soap opera, you know? Yeah. And, uh, but it's talking about like the current plot line and all the things that were going on. And then like the chorus or something was, you know, like I can't miss my soap or something, you know, General Hospital. And I just didn't know if you'd ever heard of that. No. Okay. I never heard of it. You stumped the music band. <laughs> Maybe we should play that. Like, no, like that game, Stump the Music Band. <laughs> yeah. I guess I could call it Heath. I'm sorry, am I not exciting enough? No, I'm just, you know, he's I mean, this is segment's kind of running long. Yeah, he's not home from work. Okay. He works. As I do. <laughs> My radio program. Yeah. Every day I have to do this. I mean, it's a lot of work. You know, you got to record it, and then you got to go convert it to right. MP3 format. You have to upload it to the Internet Archive. Oh, well, holy crap. Yeah. And, if, of... and you can't even, I don't even have time to, to go through and edit it, edit the content. You know, I mean, I, it would take me another hour. I, mean, I don't have that kind of time. I'm busy doing thinking about my next program. Stuff. Yep. But who, do you have any ideas about what I should do on my radio program? Um, it's not really, to clarify, and I don't think I ever really covered this. I might have, and I keep forgetting. If you just tuned in, which would be impossible, <laughs> <laughs> or if you just downloaded this program and you accidentally slid your slider over, hopefully all the way nearly to the end, and um, you don't know what's going on, this is the 
the Paul Gubbins Show from the Basement, posted to www.rockmessiah.com. And we're on the phone right now with my sister, Sarah Oglesby. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Paul. Welcome back to the program. Thank you. It's been so nice to be here. And um, so I'm told that you're an expert. I am. <laughs> on many things. Um, do you have a stance? <laughs> I do. I, I, I really like Gouda. Jeez. <laughs> I do. That's great. It's very good. Gouda. <laughs> My daughter, Delia, likes it, too. First introduced to me, you know, by you. Really? Yes, on our days in, on Cypress Hill. Is that the name of a rap album? <laughs> yeah, band, I think. A group. band? I guess a rap group, I guess they're not bands. Yeah, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's for sure. <laughs> they're groups. Um... Yeah, I think that was the group. I should know that, having dated the kinds of boys that I dated, but I, I don't. I remember. digress. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Steve was really good yesterday on the air. You know. Yeah, I feel like I'm letting you down. No, nah, I mean you're fine. What are you supposed to do? You yeah. know, I mean, what am I? What am I doing Wait, here? We do movie reviews. I watched a movie. What yesterday movie did you see? With Julie, uh, Rushmore. Did you like it? Yes. I really did. Because I really enjoy the way that they uh, they shoot those films. I think I get I get really pulled in by things like that. Yeah. You know, I mean, I really like the Royal... Have you seen Rushmore? Yes. Okay. Have you seen Bottle Rocket? No. That's the Wes Anderson movie that was made before. That was like their inaugural movie with the Owen brothers. Ah. But what's... What's what? Uh, Luke Owen Wilson. The Wilson brothers. Yes. Luke Wilson. Yes. Is the the dreamier one in Bottle Rocket. And Owen Wilson is kind of the high intensity one. So it's a little bit of a switcheroo. It is a bit of a switcheroo. Yeah. I didn't realize they were, you know, like... Uh, in good shows until you thought they were just some things like Shanghai Nights or whatever right yeah stuff like that or like high school girl movies it seems like Luke Wilson's been in a lot of high school girl movies or something not that I dislike them because I tend to like anything with a plot but I really have enjoyed these with Wes Anderson and Owen Wilson a lot more. We can talk about Twin Peaks. I'm an expert on Twin Peaks. That's true. Yeah. I mean, I don't, wouldn't even know where to begin. <laughs> I know, there's so much. Well, uh, maybe, maybe this is, we've gone long in this segment here. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to help you out. I know, you're doing a good job. Um, we'll find some... Do you have any requests? You'd like to hear a certain song play in here? Uh, what's the one about me? What? <laughs> what's the one about me? What do you mean, what's the one about you? That's what everybody to believe that I've got an addiction to pills. Oh, I, we played that. I think we kind of played that uh, one out yesterday, but we can play it some more. Um, <laughs> is that a big request? I mean, like, is that a, is that a big one for you? Um, no. Let me see. We're, uh... You know, people, he thought it was actually about me. Yeah? That I had had a problem with pills. <laughs> this is neither the time nor place for your 12-step program. It's um, time to play... What? Huh? What? Okay. What's the most recent date? Probably the 13th? The 13th? Let's see here. Where? Okay. I mean, I don't know any of your new music. Let's see here. What's? Um, I'm not cool enough to know any of your new music. Yeah. Music. Yeah. <laughs> 
You hear that? Okay, that music means it's time for us to go. All right. We'll talk to you later.
That was the Rock and Roll Patrol with their hit song. <laughs> hey, hold on. Hold on. Um, Sigiko, oh Sigiko. <laughs> okay, we have with us on the phone, we have with us uh, Dan Peterson. Hello, Dan. Yeah. Hey. Hello. Hello. Um, Hello. <laughs> live. In You've got me. In Scotland. <laughs> We um, earlier today we had a guest on the show. My sister, we called her. <laughs> was she? <laughs> was she in Scotland? No, she was at home. No. All right. Okay. So, uh, okay, we had no introduction before this for you. So maybe I should introduce you right. now, Dan Peterson. <laughs> former, <laughs> former tambourine player for the Rock and Roll Patrol. Former tambourine player. Oh, no, I the- can't. I can't play tambourine. Okay. A former member. Former of fan. Former fan. fan. No, no, that's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, how how's everything going in Scotland? Everything's fine. It, everything's fine. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Did somebody tell you it's not fine? <laughs> uh, nobody told me anything. Okay. Uh-huh. And that music means that it's. it's what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, anything. Uh, I mean, how's. Okay, I need to. Um, I got a lot of criticism yesterday because uh, when we were doing the show, Steve's follow was here, and then. Uh, Chris. Yeah. What? What, who? Me? I didn't say anything. I think I, I get. Because I'm on a cordless phone, so I pick up the neighbor's conversation yeah. sometimes. But. Um, ah. And Steve Safala was here, and and uh, and 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 he was actually doing most of the talking and the hosting of the show uh-huh. because I I, right. I, I wasn't uh, very good at it, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now that I'm here by myself, and, I'm still yeah. not very good at it. <laughs> and they said I needed to think of things well, like to ask people to talk about. Right. So. Yeah. But you you neglected to do that. But I'm getting ready so you to. You have nothing to ask. You oh, okay? <laughs> are you are the editor of a publication called Glasgow's Best Nightmare? Is that correct? <laughs> uh, you could say that. <laughs> yeah. The the only problem is we still haven't put out an issue since um, June of 2004, huh. and we've still got one in the works. I just did a new interview for it a week ago of a guy in a band, but I still haven't got it all together. I'm what what to band? Easter break. A local band called the 44s. Some, um, I don't know what to call their music. It was kind of, I don't know, it had a horn section, and it was kind of punk-ish, but I don't know. He was a cool guy, though. We we talked a lot about Frank Zappa and Captain Beefheart. He's studying music at the local university. Do they study Captain Beefheart at the university? I don't know. I should have asked him that. I don't know, um, yeah. <laughs> probably. <laughs> or they probably study Frank Zappa. I think Captain Beefheart's a little too underground for university. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, and, oh, hey, I've got a piece of paper here. That, uh, okay. It's a list of topics somebody left me that I could cover. And one of them is Dan Peterson. <laughs> And I can't recording with the voice of the Mysterions. Um, yeah. That's your new band, or right? Is Mysterons, that how? I, even. What is it? Yeah, Mysteron. Mysteron. The Mysterion is 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 the ancient Greek, but it, this is just Mysteron. It's nothing. From a, <laughs> it's it's apparently from some old show from the '60s. Have you ever heard of Thunderbirds or whatever? The pu- what are they called? The puppet puppet animation sort of thing, but they got, got the actual marionettes, you know, with strings. Anyway, some old show, Captain Scarlet, I think the bad guys were called voice, or the Misterons, and they would say, this is the voice of the Misterons, and blah, blah, blah. I didn't make up the name, but... So, yeah, we're working on songs and trying to get them done by the end of May, uh, and we've got five done, 
ten, awesome. about five to go. That's my wife saying. Does she know you're on the the, and, um, on the air? Uh, I'm just, you know, assuming. Yeah, this whole conversation is. I mean, does she know? Does your does your wife? Or, no, that she's. Uh, <laughs> what? I don't does know. Does she know that? She knows I'm on. Yeah, she knows we're on the air. Okay. She's just trying to get a, a piece of the fame. She's trying to get a, sl a slice of the. Hi. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, but the problem is, once we have our ten songs done, it's only going to take up twenty minutes because every song is about a minute and a half. So, it's only fifteen minutes. Too short. Yeah. Well, I mean, thirteen. Okay, it's an minutes, average so. of two minutes per song. Some some actually go up to like four minutes, but most of them are like a minute and a half. So. I was reading so about Caleb that. New, Bolton. New, what? You were reading about that. In your newsletter. We got two copies of your newsletter today. Oh, right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Talk about waste. So I put that in there. <laughs> I'm all talking about my band in the newsletter. <clears throat> you know, you got to fill up the space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway. So Caleb Olson from Boot to Head Records is going to say, this is too short for me to put out as an album. It's not worth my time. No. Hey, did you know you're being played on the on a internet radio station here? No, what does that mean? There's a um <laughs> Remember Doug from the Abyss? Mhm, mm mhm. Mm he he has a Yeah, he used to play second face all the time. He's got an internet radio station where he plays Evansville music on the internet yeah, cool. and he plays a lot of Blaster. Yeah. All right. And he pays Good. no royalties. <laughs> <laughs> Nor does the rest of the world. That's okay. Uh, never, it's at Crack Rabbit. Never made money off of music. Why start now? No, I'm what, what banking on this. The CrackRabbit.com is the name of the uh, the All right. the web address. The URL, as we say in the biz. <laughs> <laughs> So what, what kind of listenership do you have for this um, prestigious elite program? That it's, you're okay, last night's program has gotten two hits so far. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you've got criticisms from well, those I, two hits. I had, it was all you in have a really responsive audience. It was all in-studio criticism. It was all in-studio oh, criticism. Right. <laughs> The live audience is bigger than the uh, listening audience. I even, uh, John Barry was here, and so I, he, I called him while he was in the studio, and we talked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we talked to Mike yeah. Lyerly. Mike right. Lyerly? You know who that is? Uh, I'm, yes, yes, yes. The um, star of Fun and Games? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> we talked to him for a while. Oh, man. Kyle <laughs> Kellogg. Do you remember Kyle yeah. Kellogg? Kyle Kellogg, honey, who's that? I know the name. Red hair. Yeah, he wasn't actually here. I don't, I don't know why I brought him up. He wasn't actually here. No. I, see. Um, I mean, he was, but not during the taping of the show. Mm. Well, um, let me see how much I've actually gone so far. I got 44 minutes into the show. Um, I'm sure people are getting tired of this part. Uh, it's you know you, when you listen to it later it's it's interesting you know just to hear people talk okay oh, okay I tried to call Steve but I don't know his cell phone number because I was going to call him on his way home they were leaving today and right um, I was going to yeah. call him because he how was, is it that you're in do you just like drive over to Steve's basement every day I'm in my own basement isn't that like a three hour drive or something you're <laughs> in your basement yeah I'm in my own basement. Oh, Steve's over at your base. Yeah, he was here oh, okay. in my base. You were over at Steve's base. No. Gotcha. <laughs> um, okay. Which basement are you in? The fruit cellar. The practice basement. Yes. Is that the practice basement? The oh man, we had a basement? show a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there in the were basement. no. It was at the, across the street at eleven twenty three First oh, yeah. Avenue, and um, yeah, we were opening yeah. for John Kirkwood's band, Hog Dog Love, or something, and yeah. uh, uh -huh. and you know John Kirkwood. Yeah, yeah. Is it supposed, is it like Psycho Billy or something? Yeah, they're Trico Tricycle Billy, and um, <laughs> we there was there were probably seventy five to a hundred people there exaggerating, yeah, and um, they were all. Yeah. <laughs> 
wearing motorcycle jackets. They all had pompadours. And many of them were in full face paint. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And it was strange. They in, and we, we <laughs> rocked the house down. Even though Mikey right. Schaus, Mike Schaus, pooped out on me yeah. three days before the show. <laughs> the, oh, and you found a replacement bass player. Well, I had one that should have been playing bass anyway, but I had him playing keyboards. And and it, uh -huh. the bass, him playing bass is better. And so it was a good show. And had a head of a new drummer since yeah. my drummer moved away. I was going to say, who played drums? Heath Dill. Who? Do you remember him? I know you would have never known who? him. Who? Heath Dill. Heath Bill. Dill. I bet your wife Still, knows my him. Wife said, corrected me. Yeah. Yeah, she apparently does. He's my new drummer. He's an old hippie. He, he's your new drummer and an old hippie. He had never played drums Pretty before. Good. He, he'd never he sat never behind played. a drum you, you set. You have a record of kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you always find those guys new drummers. That's impressive. But he had played what? the congas a lot. The congas? He, he played the... What? He smoked the ganj a lot? No, he had played the congas. He the ganja a lot. The congas. He plays the congas a lot, right? Yeah. And, yeah, um... you do both those, don't they? <laughs> and, um... That's <laughs> fine. No he's... offense, Heath. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like a human beatbox. If you're listening. He can beatbox, you know, he's with his human mouth. human beatbox? Yeah. He won the beatbox... Amazing. So the beatbox... Like a hip-hop hippie. A hippie hop. He won the beatbox yeah. contest at Washington Middle School. I don't know if that means anything to you. He, he won the he won a beatbox contest at the Washington Middle School. My wife was thinking of a different Heath, apparently. But she knows that one too. The beatbox Heath. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever that. Means. But he's a, you know how, so you, no, how how can he be an old hippie? I mean, well, he's a former hippie. The former hippie Heath no, Dill. I, I mean, I don't know if he was so much of a hippie. A hippie formerly known as... No. Okay. Sunshine Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um... <laughs> <laughs> nice radio voice. Um, this huh? is... Did you go to high school with this, this former hippie guy? I didn't know that I did, but I did. <laughs> The ganja got you too, huh? <laughs> I remember. <laughs> yeah, you know, this this uh, show may very well be airing on a Christian station. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> there are many you know ways to understand the the term ganja. Of course, there are many ways to understand the ganja. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's just that you know I'm not much of a, a drug person myself. I'm kind of a nerd in that way, I guess. Um, but <laughs> I have a friend here who's got quite a past with the ganj, and he's always bringing it up and joking about it. So I've gotten quite used to saying it. I never even knew what what the term was before. <laughs> but, but now I'm acting like an old hand on, on the ganj. <laughs> I did see I did see someone do it since I've been here, and it, it was. It was like um, Three Dog Night. Mama told me not to come. Yeah, I, I imagine. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> this is my kind of party. <laughs> no, anyway, <laughs> as you tell me this is going to be on a Christian station, it just gets worse. <laughs> you're all your own. Okay. Of course, you do live by oh, the you. generosity of others. <laughs> 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 uh, the generosity of fundamentalist Christians. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Um, well, I, I, if I keep talking, I'm just going to keep digging. So, <laughs> you know. um, is there a topic you know of that you'd like to speak on? Hello. Um, let's talk about Squad Five O. <laughs> ah, Chris and uh, is going to be doing a, a radio show on the Christian station. Okay. They're going to have an hour-long radio station. Their house, your brother and him. And um, and they're calling oh, right. some, yeah. some things like the descendants of the divinity, <laughs> and their their okay. shtick is going to be <laughs> that they're the descendants of Jesus Christ and Mary Magdalene. <laughs> oh well, yes, that's a good one. I that's asked them if it's, I just saw like about five books on it today in a like a you know crappy sell you every latest thing type bookstore on the corner. Mm -hmm. You know. I asked them if. Uh, um, if Andy knew, Andy Fuller knew, if that's what the radio show was going to be about, he said he didn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, well, that's 
that's okay. I mean, as long as we all love each other. Yes. Right? Um, <laughs> okay. Well, um, anybody else there want to talk on the, the program? Anybody else here want to talk on the program? I do. Hang on. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, is this Lydia? Yes. How are you doing? I I am doing perfectly well. Perfectly well without fault or blemish? Maybe a few faults or blemishes. But other than that, yeah, perfectly nice. well. How's uh how's school going for you? I hear that um that you're in a play. A right? Play? Oh yeah, it's a puppet show. A puppet but show. It's finished now. Uh-huh. How, Pride how, comes before a fall. How'd that go for you? And it was great. Um we performed it at an assembly um for the upper school. Not the upper school, but the older kids. And then for the infants, we had them take turns coming into our classroom. For the who? The infants? That's just primary one, two, and three. I see. Because here in the uh, United States of America, when we refer to infants, we mean newborns. Ba yes. I guess that's just... <laughs> yeah, it's... Like, in our schools, they call it the infant department, though. So it's a bit different. <laughs> it is a bit different. You don't, I don't, you're not speaking with much of an ask, accent. An American accent or a Scottish accent? You're not speaking with much of a Scottish accent. Yesterday, I tried to call, and I called the wrong number, and I talked to a guy who all he said to me was, <laughs> And... <laughs> and <laughs> Well, I thought maybe you would you would you would talk like that for us. I don't know why I would say that. Hello, hello. You want me to? I don't know. I'm not. You know, you know, you're on the program care. here, right? You, you do know that you're on the the program here. I mean, I'm I'm I'm. Uh, this is a radio show. Yes. And you're on. You're li You're not yes. live. We tape it during the day, and then it'll be on tonight. You can download it on your your yes. computer. Listen to it. And, um, yeah. but I don't know what to talk about with people. You know, I don't know what kind of radio show it should be. Do you have any suggestions? Um, um, uh, uh what? <laughs> You really can't do that on the radio. You have to keep talking. What? You have to keep talking when you're on. You know, I mean, you quit talking. Okay, I. I think we should do a sweet. What? With my mother's about sweets. I'm doing my Scottish accent. I I quit understanding what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> about candy. About candy. About sweets. My Sweeties? Yes. Leprechauns? Yes. What? It was not leprechauns. It was my mom's suggestion. Candy, sweets, whatever. <laughs> we could do a show about... Crisps. Crisps, yes. But which one? Crisp as in... Crisp and clean or something like that or crisp as in the eating crisp suppose the eating crisp I don't know but don't you don't you call that chips I thought we called fries chips no they call fries chips in Scotland then what are fries they call oh Goodness. When you say fries, <laughs> what do you mean? A fry is the sort of thing, it's like a potato, but then it has been fried. So 
people in America call it a fry, and people in Scotland call it a chip. But when you say to your friends "fry" or "fries," what do they think of when you say it? Well, I think they would think of well, sometimes in the shops, and it's quite funny. It's like these there are these big bags of chips that say "American fries" on them, and so I think that's what would come up in their head, or somebody frying something. Like somebody frying up some chips, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, looks like we're running long in this segment. Is there, is there anybody else there that wants to uh, talk on the show? Yes. I think so. I'll ask one of my brothers. Okay. I'll keep you occupied now. I'm going up the stairs. I'm walking into the room. Well, why don't you tell everybody where you are, where you live? Who you are? I don't well, think I ever introduced you. My name is Lydia Peterson, and I really come from Indiana, but I am... I live in Glasgow, Scotland. I moved here. And now I will change to one of my brothers. Okay. Which one? Hello? 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 Who who is this? With whom Hi. am I speaking? What's hello? Who what's going on? Well, I'm reading the Tanglewood Secret book and I just walked out of my room and I'm about to start a different book. Is I finish this one, and my name's Otto, and I'm seven years old, uh, and I live in Scotland, in Glasgow, uh, Bishop Briggs, 25 Elden Gardens, and I come from America, but I moved here, and it's a mess on Lydia's floor in her room, and... I think I should change to Jack Lewis now. Okay. My well, it was good talking to you. Um, I'm reading a book, and my age is... How old are you? My age is... How are you doing, Jack Lewis? What? How, how are you doing? Good. Good. Um, I saw a picture of you recently. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're maybe losing you. Are you there? Well. Maybe. We should call it quits. Hello? Hello? What? What's that? What? Who, who, what's going on? Hello, this is Lydia. Jack Lewis is trying to listen. But he never holds the phone properly. And so he can't hear you and he can't speak to you properly. So okay. I'm going to try again. Well, hey, Lydia? Hello? Oh, yes? I've, yes. Got to, I've got to end the show now. My time's up. Okay? Okay. Well, um. Okay. So this is it. Um, hold on. I gotta. This is fancy. I'm gonna start playing some music. We're gonna fade out. And then we're gonna. That'll be it. 
Okay. Okay, you can stay on the phone. If you want. Okay, well we'll just we'll just uh, see what happens here. Searching but can't find you here Seen the mountains and I've seen the wind Seen the places where you might have been And I've been crawling through the desert sand And I've been looking for the promised land I've seen fire falling down like rain Footsteps like along the train Searching but can't find you here See the mountains and I see the wind See the places where you might have been Well, that's the uh, Paul Gubbin show from the basement for today for February 27th, 2005 And uh, we'll try to get one up for you tomorrow night So check back that's it. I've been floating through the atmosphere. I've been searching but can't find you here. Seen the mountains and I've seen the wind. Seen the places where you might have been.